Hi everybody, uh, Midnight here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Sony soundbar, which is this. Sorry that, you know, this thing is really long and really huge. Um, it's kind of like hard for me to fit it into the camera, you know, because um, I could like do it on the floor, but I don't want to. So anyway, we're going to about, we're going to talk about the Sony soundbar that I recently purchased and we're going to talk about it and we're going to I'm going to tell you the aspects I'm going to tell you if it's a good sound bar to get first of all I'm going to tell you what it, they're really good for um now if you all notice I had a sound I had an Ankyo sound system and it was a it was a 7.2 I had seven speakers and two subwoofers it was a really good sound system but the only problem is since I live in an apartment which I really hate I really want to be in a house um, I have a neighbor upstairs, and my neighbor upstairs that is above me is very rude. Um, she just doesn't like the vibration of my subwoofers on my sound system. I tried everything that I could to adjust the sound, take the bass out of the sim, but because the two front ones had built-in bass inside of them, and so did the subwoofer, it still bothered her. So. You know, I got a lot of complaints from her from the office, and I didn't want to get, I didn't want to have to leave. So I had to, do, I donated my sound system to um, the Goodwill. So hopefully someone else will make really good use of it. I hope whoever gets it, they take care of it, because it was, it was a fine built sound system. So anyway, I really heard about sound bars and how good they are. You know, number one, they don't vibrate, but they still give that nice, good surround sound I like, which is about the loud bass that bothers your neighbors, which I have a really rude one upstairs, an extremely rude one, but we're not going to talk about her. Um, so uh, first of all, it has, if you look on there, it has... Uh, HDMI arc, it has Bluetooth, it has USB, and it has 120 watts, which is really good. Um, and the arc is really good because I like it. This thing will control the volume of my TV and everything else, and it's Bluetooth. So that means you can also play your music on this thing, and... Um, you can play your music on this thing and it comes out through your cell phone if you have any uh, Bluetooth device. So it is Bluetooth. Um, it is really long, right there, if you guys can see it. And I'm gonna get some of the aspects of it so you guys will know its, uh, its features, and what it has. So um, I'm looking at on my phone, uh, uh, specific and features. It has a deep, uh, sound with uh, bass reflect speakers. Uh, it's compact space design and design. Uh, easy to set up with HDMI arc. Now HDMI arc means uh, audio return channel. So basically, what it does is it, it kind of like if you have a TV with arc uh, HDMI, when you hook it up to your TV, it just automatically controls your TV and then also return the audio back from your TV so it does actually both things so it's a really easy setup it's just HDMI to your TV but your TV has to have HDMI arc if it doesn't have HDMI arc then you're going to need an HDMI cable and then you're going to need an optical cable to you know get the same thing um, it has High sound quality of S Force front surround and music uh, playback with USB Bluetooth. Um, now the the size of it is about um, it's about six point centimeters high and about nine ninety centimeters long and about uh, eight centimeters. Um, uh, eight centimeters thick so basically it's nine uh, 90 centimeters this way and 
I think um, four point centimeters this way, and it's um, eight um, eight point centimeters this way, or eight point centimeters that way. Um, let's see. So let's see. We'll go to full aspects and features. Um, size and weight of the unit. Uh, it's about uh, the main unit and only body width length. Um, it's about uh, I say about 35 and a half by two and a half and one three and a half. It's about about five pounds. Weighs about five pounds. Uh, amplifier type it has an S master uh, power output 120 watts um, interface it uh, input of internal of arc and optical and H and um, USB type A um, Bluetooth is the receiver is it is an RX receiver with a uh, Bluetooth version of four of two Point four um, FCS no um, numbers of output. It only has one HDMI arc. Uh, we already talked about the arc, and it has HDMI CES, which is yes. We have audio floor mat. Audio floor mat is uh, output of Dolby uh, Dolby Digital and dual. Uh, motto of LPCM two channel and input of Do uh, Adobe Digital Motto, um, same thing. Um, USB of 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 WAV and we have um, a it has a H, I mean. MP3 and WAM and Bluetooth receiver is a SBC. Um, sound functions audio theater standard and has night mode, voice mode. Oh, okay, it has voice mode. Um, it also has a uh, virtual surround technology of S Force um, speaker layout, uh, two point uh, two point zero channel. One sound bar speaker, wireless, uh, okay, wireless feature, uh, wireless surround, no, wireless surround with, uh, wireless surround with optical wireless speakers, no, uh, wireless multi room, no, it doesn't have those types of features. There are some uh, sound bars that have the wireless where you can connect other speakers. This one does not, okay? So if you're looking for something like that, this is just a simple sound bar just to go onto your TV and nothing else. It means you can't add on anything else, which that's what I want. I just want something simple. So if you want a simple sound bar, um, the Sony sound bar is not good. Um, details of power consumption of 30 watts, uh, power consumption with remote is 0 0.5 Bluetooth, Standby off controls with HDMI. Um, while uh, Walmart, yes, you can mount this to your wall. Um, you actually can mount it to the wall. I'm gonna turn it around, and if you look, uh, there's a thing right there, and here's one. Um, here's one right here. So you can mount this to the wall, and the power I'm trying to see there's the power uh, core where you connect it and um, you see it says trying to there's HDMI now right here I don't know if you guys can see that but I'm gonna try it and okay. right there is where you can hook up the HDMI it's kind of hard the HDMI right there and the optical, and there's the Bluetooth. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> now, uh, so basically what this thing is, this is the Sony soundbar two point built in tweeter soundbar, and this is the HTS 
100F. That's the name of this unit. And um, I gave you guys all the aspects of the unit. Now I'm going to tell you what I think of it and what my use. The one thing I really like about it is that it has night mode. Night mode is really good for, like, say, like if you want to watch a movie late at night, you don't want to disturb anybody, you can click on night mode and uh, it turns it on and then it, it's really, really silent and it won't bother people at night or the people upstairs. Um, and we're going to give a look at the remote. This is the remote, everybody. This is the remote to the sound bar. And as you can see, the features that it has it has um, input, I'll put this uh, audio surround, standard, cinema, music, voice, and th those are volume controls. As you can see, it is a really, really tiny, small remote that I would have to say. It's a, it's a really, really tiny, small remote. But it's good and it like I said it um, this will control your sound on your TV so you don't have to grab your TV remote you can just grab this remote and this will turn down because um, it, it will all automatically and when you turn on your TV the sound bar automatically comes on which is nice and if you turn on your sound bar the TV will come on which is really nice but my Xbox already turns everything on plus this so this is, I would say this is a very good sound bar. If you guys are looking for a nice sound bar, it is quite long and you can mount it to the wall, which is really nice. I like it, it has, it is really good and it helps me to enjoy good surround sound out of my music, out of my video games and out of my, uh, when I'm watching stuff, it's really good and it won't bother your neighbors because it doesn't have, it does have a subwoofer inside of it, but it's hardly noticeable. I've used it and I haven't had no complaints with my neighbors or anything else. And I've used this for, for one whole week. And I would say, is this sound bar worth getting? I say yes. I would go out and purchase it. It is going to round you up about a hundred. It's about hundred and fifty dollars, but I caught it on sale for a hundred. But um, it is a very good sound bar. I highly recommend it. Go pick it up if you're looking for something really easy and re uh, really easy to hook up and quick and simple. Then pick up the Sony sound bar. Okay, everyone. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please, uh, please subscribe to join the Wolf Pack and uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and go please support us on Patreon, everybody. And um, all the links will be in the description below, and please follow us on Twitter and Instagram because we post there first before we post on here. If you want to know what we're up to and what we're doing, please go follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Our Twitter and Instagram is Midnight Sky Wolf, okay? And, um, Thank you guys for watching this video. Please comment, please like, please share this video, and may the spirit of the wolf be with you until we meet again next time in paradise. Okay, everyone, bye.